Hey guys, Skyler here. I've just emailed all of the data that Independence Title prepares for us on a monthly basis. And there's just a couple of trends that I wanna to talk to you about that I think is useful for the environment that we're in right now. First off, the number of houses that are being sold. The number of houses being sold are way down uh, off of last year's total amount of homes sold. Last year, there was over 6 million homes sold. And the year prior to that, in 2020, there was over 5.5 million units sold. This year, they projected that we were gonna do right about 5 million, uh, but it's looking like we're gonna be closer to 4.5, 4.6 million. And that's a significant amount of homes, less than what we thought. And, and, and we didn't start the year off the pace as much as we are now. So that means the second half of this year has been a lot slower than everybody thought was gonna happen. The second thing is the amount of appreciation. Uh, so we've watched these charts year over year, kind of go higher and higher. And what we're seeing right now is, yes, year over year, the appreciation is still about 5%, but the downward trend of our appreciation versus last year's upwards trend on the pricing, it is conceivable that over the next few months, we're gonna see this point where we see some negative appreciation in the Austin market. And uh, you know, you don't, we don't have a glass ball, so we can't tell you for sure that that's gonna happen. But if you just look at these charts that we have from Independence Title, you can see that if things continue to trend the way that they are, we're gonna have some negative appreciation here in Austin. And then the last trend uh, that I think is worth mentioning, and it kind of drives all of this, is the amount of supply that we have uh, here in Austin. We've got the most amount or the highest inventory of homes in the Austin market than we've had the last five years. So you can look at all the yearly trends between now and 2018, and we have the most inventory right now of all the five years. And that, you know, that, that alone is what's driving this pricing uh, change. And, and the fact that we're not selling all the homes uh, that are coming to market gives you an idea of, well, less homes are being sold. Uh, and we're not, we're not releasing so many homes to the market that it, it, it makes sense that at the current rate of buyers, we're just getting more supply. No, it's, we're, not, we're not releasing that many new homes to market. It's just the buyers are that much slower to progress uh, than we've been used to the last five years. So if you like these trends uh, or you like hearing about these trends and, and you want more information on this, please reach out to us uh, and we'll provide the trends directly to you but always subscribe to our YouTube channel and, and follow us on Instagram. We'll continue to provide you this info.